Hi everyone, Mary here at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to do a couple of things. Um, I assume probably like a lot of you, I am in cleanup mode. So today I'm going to junk my calendar. And if <clears throat> I have time, quite some time ago, someone posted a comment that they couldn't see precisely how I made my shabby flowers. So I thought that might be a, if we have time, <clears throat> I'll quickly do a couple because I'm going to be needing, um, I've used all, almost all of them with the um, print on them and it's coming up to making hearts time. I'm going to make some heart things and um, ornaments, hang tags, little things you can hang in the window or on a cupboard or whatever. So I'm going to be needing some of those. Is it too early to make hearts? That's what I was going to do today. And then realized I didn't have enough of those. So I'm going to junk my calendar instead. But first a little, um, this is the newest ephemera pack basically. Um, where is it? This is printed on presentation paper and it's just beautiful vintage Valentine's in my collection. This is printed on plain paper. It's six pages. It's PDF only. And, um, you know, I collect these little things. This, these are authentic uh, Valentine greetings on postcards from uh, somewhere there was a date on here. One is from 1914 and I think one was from 19... 04 or 1909 and I just um, you know made a design on them. A couple of collage sheets just a fun little thing that you can play around with make some valentines That's called My Vintage Valentine. It'll be at the end. So, um, a little, a little um, review. Last week I told you I was cutting up old sketchbooks. Um, this is just one stack that I've gotten so far. I have several sizes two sizes, well three, five by seven card base and four by six. And I probably have at least 10 more to go, but this is fabulous. I'm gonna be using these for all kinds of things. These are just a few things I made from my little strips. Some kind of like, I'm calling them dog tags. And I just um, repainted. They already had some watercolor on them. And I just went over them a little bit. Stamped on top, punched a hole. <laughs> Going to be doing more things with those strips. These are some more 
leftover pieces. I'll be using those for something. I don't have my longer strips here, but here's some more tiny strips. I'll be using those for something, probably, possibly. Those might get discarded. But I've turned all of that into reusable stuff, and I'm very happy to be reducing the paper clutter in my basement. So, on to junk my calendar. Um, this is one of the type of things I keep on my desk, and it just holds it's mostly pockets, envelopes, and it just holds waste so my desk doesn't end up looking like my side here, <laughs> which if you could see it's cluttered with paper. Um, I don't really plan. I don't really do any of that kind of stuff like you, you would usually think. I use old planners to write notes in, like when I'm doing something and I don't want to forget how I did it. But this year, I do want to start being a little more organized instead of just writing lists and keeping lists on my um, piled up on my desktop and then I have to thumb through them every time I want to keep track of what I want to remember. So I went to Dollar Tree. I found several planners. Wasn't sure which one I was going to use and then I decided on this one, mostly because of the size and it has the function that I'm going to be looking for. So um, I wrote down what I, I made a plan of how I'm going to modify it to suit my needs. I wrote down what I am going to make to junk this. It's generally not going to be any decoration today. I'll do the decorating part later. And then I'm going to um, just do that today because um, and then like I said, if I have time, I'll um, do the shabby flowers. So I'm going to trim these book pages. If I need it. I think I'll get two out of that, but I'm not sure. Okay, in my pockets, I'm going to measure in a minute. Um, I'm going to use, let me put everything I need over here. I have these old card bases lying around and I'm going to use those for my pockets and uh, belly band. I think, well one belly band. I forgot to get something else to make two belly bands. But this I wanted to show you. This is um, glue stick and I'm quite sure 
this has been sitting there for two years. See, that came off. I'm 100% sure I used Scotch Create, which is a, considered to be a good glue stick. And it's peeling off. So if I want to use that, I'm going to have to re-glue it and emboss it. But that's just another example of I think everyone should go back and check old work and make sure their glue stick is actually gluing and keeping things glued for years if, if that's your intention to keep things intact for years. I personally don't think I'm going to use glue stick as much in the coming year. So, my let me measure what I need for my belly band. And then cut that three and a half. Okay, I saw... Probably... It'd be smart to do it on one of these. And this one's going to be the thickest. I saw this somewhere else. They didn't do a tutorial. But when um, probably two and a half one and a half and one. That's what I'm going to go for. They didn't do a tutorial, <clears throat> so I don't think I should be at the liberty to um, be sharing this, but I thought it was a good idea <laughs> and I'm going to because it will it will allow me to tuck things in without adding a lot of bulk. So that's why I'm going to do it. So these have to be different sizes. What are they? A little over one and a quarter. That's about the same size. Um, I think I want one of these to be a little smaller, so I'm going to go down to three quarters. Or maybe one. This is where Senior Susie tip of using a pusher would come in handy, but I got it. Okay, so then these have to be, and they're going to be off, but I don't care. This is this is functional. Unless I want to take the time of being precise. What is that? I think that's four and a quarter. Let me see if I... A little off each side. Try to get that triangle centered, but I don't 
think it really matters. I did that before. Well, that's going to be a little off, but whatever. It's going to, um, that is three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Ooh, I'll be saving those. Okay. Set that off for a minute. I think I'm going to put this. I hope I'm in. I'm going to put this probably about right there. But I think I'll assemble the other pieces first and then do that. my glue. Okay, <clears throat> so Happy New Year everyone. We don't, um, don't need that there. Hope everyone had a nice New Year's Eve and a nice New Year. What a difference a week made. We went from freezing blizzard to spring-like weather. Another reason I um I didn't didn't have much planned. I wasn't home yesterday. Took the little guy to be neutered. I didn't sleep all night because I was worried. <laughs> Not that I would necessarily nor normally n worry about a neuter, but um, he's been on medicine now for almost a month. That would be his second sedation. That would normally have a little decoration in the center. I'm going to let that set a moment and then I'll show you how it works. So, okay, that went there. Uh, I want two pockets on the front cover. This is for holding junk. Let's see. I think that'll work. And again, I'm not going to I think I'm just going to mark this because <laughs> it says three and a half, but I want it a little wider. I have to find my pencil. Don't you hate that? Where'd you go? There 
Are you kidding me? Yes, I lost it. So we took the little guy to be neutered, and um, of course they didn't—they didn't call till the very last minute to go pick him up. Now what? Now why is that? Okay, there we go. So what is that? That's four. So I'm just going to cut that in half at two. I was just worried about him. He didn't sleep. And then he paced the floor all day until, well, no, I didn't pace the floor, but mentally I paced the floor until they called and said to come pick him up. I'm going to put a little notch in there. See if we can do two at once. But he's doing well. The um he goes back to uh check the abscess. Whoops. On Friday, it's going down substantially. I hope they think enough. Make sure I can close that. Okay, that's for holding junk. Then I thought, I'm just going to use these corners to separate the sections. And then I thought I would do a belly band around the um, calendar and writing part. That way I can just see my day, and flip to my day immediately. And go to each section easily. I could have done tabs, but I decided on corners instead. I'll redo them into tabs if these don't stay in place. But I also thought maybe I could make some little something pretty to dangle off the edge of a paper clip. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll decorate as as I get time. Okay, so I think if I need anything more of those, I'll grab another one. Um, let's get our pockets corners. Okay, I'm going to do the famous Annie Trump. I love these corners. Bookmarks are totally functional. They always sit nicely on the corner. And they always stay in place. Made a bunch of these for my husband for Christmas. So I went down Sunday 
downtown. I wanted to get some pictures of the beautiful semi new Christmas decorations we have downtown because they put in, um, they've kind of been restoring our town. I don't live in one of those beautiful, generally Pennsylvania has beautiful little historic towns with the main street in my town burnt down more than once. So while we have a few beautiful old buildings. They're not as old as the surrounding towns and we don't look authentically historic like they do. So it's kind of been a hodgepodge of design through the last century and um, so they've been trying to rectify that and they've been doing a pretty good job we have some new The lighting around town is on um, old-fashioned lamp poles. And then that's where they put the new Christmas decorations. And when you go downtown at dusk, it's quite pretty. So I went downtown to take some photos of that and um, I guess because it was Sunday, I hope because it was Sunday, I, I might try again today. Um, all the shop lights, all the shop Christmas lights weren't on. So I didn't get the full effect. I'm going to cut that a little low. I think it'll be okay. Where are we? Thirty minutes already. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do the shabby flowers. I do not want these to be long this year. I really don't. I'm going to be um, rethinking my shops. Definitely going to be redoing, rethinking my product offerings. I don't think I'll be doing as many kits in the future. I think, um, I'll still be doing the create with me, but I generally think most of the people who are doing junk journals know how to create pockets and tags. And they don't need everything pre-made. 
so I'm going to be rethinking my kits to attract these highly creative people and what and various things they might like to use a kit for. It will still be kind of a kit is my plan but not not the typical kit that's generally being offered. These are going to be for a wider audience. Okay, so let me just show you how that belly band is going to work. I'll just use this one tuck, two tuck, three tuck, And that way <clears throat> I won't be taking up a lot of bulk, but I can still tuck a lot of things in there. I don't think I'll be, I, I'm going to glue some of those pages together and make a couple pockets for inserting um, loose papers. I don't think I'll be taking the time to do that because that's what the book pages are for. To reinforce these um, flimsy pages before I make a couple of pockets here in the back. I don't think I'm going to take the time to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. Glue them together put a little notch and then I have two pockets two page pockets okay let me get these glued in And I have something, what I really need, I'm also going to make a bunch of little notebooks, scrappy notebooks. That's what I need. Because I can't tell you how many times I've thought of something before I fell asleep and then forgot it. And I didn't want to forget it. So I need a notebook by my bed. So that I don't forget something. Because that's when I get some of my best ideas. I'm sure that's a common thing. And I used to have a used to keep some meditation books on a tray by my bed, but my cats have a tendency to knock things off. So, here we go. One, two, those are going to hold little scraps, business cards, things like that. And make sure I can close that. So that's I'm gonna take these paper clips out and see. Make sure I'm not getting too bulky. That's what I there are some pages I can remove in here if need be, but Okay, that's not terrible. I can live with that. Okay. I think. So there, I can flip to my section, have a little storage. I'll have more storage with a couple of pockets. Let's see if that plan works.
So there, I junked my calendar. I can also tuck things in here if I can find a way to glue them and still keep the pages turnable, which I don't think is possible. So, okay, did that. Let's see, 38. Oh boy, do you want to stick around five more minutes? I really, I really had intended to do that, to show that person. Doesn't take that long. Okay, you'll need some paper. Generally, um, you can stamp your text on there. It can be coffee dyed, whatever. You'll need some various circles. I'm using a glue cap. I have them in five sizes because I usually make three or five layers. You'll need some ink. You can use your ink squares, whatever, if you want. I'm going to use alcohol ink. You'll need some water. Hopefully I'm going to choose one here that's already opened. This is alcohol ink. I'm going to choose ruby. And this is the part they said they couldn't see. And why do I do this? Because I can't tear a circle to save my life. I'll do it on the white. Let me get a little piece of foam. <clears throat> Jeez, that's drying already. I have my little pokey tool. Oops. See, did you see that? This is what I don't like. This makes such a mess. And you can never get it off. So I swirl my circle of thing. Let it sit there a minute. I need more water. This one this one's very thin so it doesn't doesn't leave a lot of puddle. See what I mean? I need a puddle. Here we go. Just let it sit there a minute <clears throat> till it soaks through. And then I tear it out. And what I like about these are the little fibers and that I can quickly get a circle. And I'm using the lightest, this is 20 pound, because it generally works really well for shaping and then I go on to my next size this is a glue top I just look around my room for different size circles
in this way I get my edges inked I get my circle doesn't take forever I'll do a whole sheet of circles well I generally do those one at a, one or two at a time so they don't dry out before I have to poke them out. And this is a something I learned from scrapbookers. How to get your how to do easy and quick tearing. Kind of like when you want to tear something out of a napkin and you don't want to um, you want to keep your tear kind of controlled. Okay, there's five. Let me quickly shape that and glue it. I didn't get to talk about anything. I've been watching. I've been watching um, people sharing their end of year journals and reflections, and it's been very interesting. This one, this one's a little large. I don't usually. I need a. I do have one that's a little better, but I can't remember what it was, so I just grabbed that. I hope I'm in. I'm not paying attention to that either. See, that's a little, that's a little too large. So I don't know if I'm going to use that one. I'll just do four. Now I can't remember. When you get down to these, you kind of have to um, keep track of what order you did them. So they all fit. Those are too similar. I think I have them backwards. I tried to make this smaller. Which one did I do? And you put whatever you want in the center. I think I'm just going to leave that at three. And there you go. Those beautiful shabby flowers with your text in them. <coughs> You can glitter the edges. <coughs> you can do all kinds of things. So again, just take your paper. You can use this foam if you want to give it a little press, but 
I'm binding, it's really not necessary. Let it soak minute, second. Pop that baby out. And here's your nice little shabby circle all inked around the edges. Be making a bunch of these. Also, probably going to do some with my handmade paper. Okay. See that? I'll just do a couple here on this. Um, I tried to assimilate this to coffee dye, but it, um, I don't think I got the right color. So yeah, generally I do this on coffee dyed paper and I stamp my text. But for time's sake, I just did it like that. Okay. I hope 49 minutes. Oh, good God. I'm going to see if I can speed through some of that. Okay. We junked our calendar. We caught up a little bit. I'll have something next week. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great week. Bye.